All right. Hello, Castaways, and welcome to DCP's Survivor Corkscrew Cove. I'm one of your hosts, Ian Moorhead, along with my co-host, Lily Petzold. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Corkscrew Cove. Tonight begins your month-long journey of outwitting, outplaying, and outlasting 15 other members to become the sole survivor. Before we get started, we'd like to introduce you to the rest of Dynamic Character Productions prod members. This would not be possible with just Lily and I. These people are here night in, night out, not on camera, recording you, doing everything they can to put out the best episodes and product possible for you guys. So we have Austin Garso, Alex Trias, McKenna Feeney, McKenna Inglis, Kyle Durrett, Carrie Underwood, not, the, not that Carrie Underwood, John David Millsip, and that are not here tonight, we have Kylie Scruggs, Morgan Jackson, Eric Barnes, and Greg Langstein. Now it is time to open your supply packages. So everyone go ahead and take yours out. I hope all of you have them with you. Inside, you should see dice, some unsharpened pencils, rubber bands, wooden blocks, ping pong balls, parchment paper for voting, a Sharpie, and then as well, uh, as you were all notified, you should have pups and cards bought as well. And then as soon as everyone confirms with me that that's what they've got, we will on. All right. And you will be using some of those materials tonight in your first immunity challenge. But before that happens, let's get you into two tribes. First is the Gerslauer tribe, who will always wear red. We have Benji, Bryant, Gabby, Jared, Josh, Colby, Ryan, and Tawny. And on the Vacoma tribe, who will always wear blue, Aaron, Cade, Ben Katz, Ben Hathaway, Joe, Jordan, Tommy, and Sam. For today's challenge, four castaways on each tribe will use their wooden blocks as dominoes to knock over an empty solo cup simultaneously. Then the remaining four members of the tribe must complete a New York Times connection-style puzzle, each castaway completing one set of four at a time. First tribe to complete their puzzle is safe from the vote. Losers go to tribal council where one member will be the first person voted out of the game. <laughs> All right, survivors ready? Go. All right, Gerslauer's got Gabby, Ryan, Benji, and Jared building a domino track. They must knock over a cup at the same time. Leads into the connections puzzle. This is for the first indi or individual. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we have merged already? Tribal immunity. And over on Vacoma, we have Tommy, Aaron, Joe, and Ben stacking dominoes. Sam is awaiting to start the connections puzzle shortly behind Cade, Jordan, and Ben. Just a reminder we need to see that cup before you simultaneously domino affect your blocks <laughs> you need to see that it hit the cup my hand is shaking so bad I'm taking it out from right the comma i'm done stacking so let me know when you guys are done i'm also done stacking i'm almost done let's go gang Aaron and Ben already done stacking their dominoes, just waiting on Joe and Tommy. Here's our end as well. Ryan was done, and then he knocked over his stack. So Ryan is resetting. Jared and Gabby. Oh, yeah, that sucks. And okay. with Ryan, we got it. That Joe and Tommy get a little breath <laughs> as Gershlauer. <laughs> yeah, breathe as really hard, done. hard enough to knock them over. <laughs> <laughs> and where's Aaron's dog? Yeah, no, <laughs> oh, don't say that. If the dog knocks over the cup, that counts. What's the dog's name? Team. Can we not gonna tell you straight up? Not gonna tell you. What if we just... That would be so stupid. <laughs> Ryan has his stack about to where it was the first time before he knocked it over. <laughs> Gabby and Jared okay. are getting close. Jared looks like he is really. Uh, I really just knocked over half my sack. I'm gonna kill myself. Work. Gabby is resetting. Take your time, Tommy. Take your time, Joe. Only half of it. Okay. We're good. We're good. Hand is shaking. Oh. oh, Joe knocks his oh. stack over. Has to reset. That's yeah. okay. On this knock. Okay. 
I am ready. Okay. Good, bro. Wait, Tom, good stuff. Diploma. Gabby resetting. Ryan almost done. Jared looks like he's almost done. Ah. Patiently wait. But as the saying goes, the puzzle is the equalizer. So does it matter in the end? Oh. And it's a connections made by yours truly. So. <laughs> oh, so probably. Lily really just said you're all you all don't matter actually. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, right, Erin? <laughs> I don't know if you just saw that, but I almost did it again. Good. Yeah, I did it again. Now now everyone knows. Gabby has not. Oh, you're good, it. Joe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Go, Joe. Good job. Good job. Ryan is ready to go when the Gerslauer tribe is ready. Jared. I saw the face. He knocked over everything. Jared resetting. Ready? We're ready? Are we ready? Wait, Joe's ready. Hold on. Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. I saw one cut move. I did not see. We are missing Tommy. It's like Tommy's did not hit. Oh, man. Guys, we got this. It's so good. It was so good. Call it literally made it. It literally made it right here. Oh, damn. It's better to be too close right. than too far away. Not yeah. gonna lie, that was actually really cool to watch. Abby and Jared, it we was. have time. Jared looks like he's about. Time to adjust. He's just he's adjusting right now. Gabby's still working on rebuilding hers. Ryan and Benji just hoping they don't take a little nap. <laughs> Jared is ready to push whenever Gabby is. Okay, I'm good. I'm ready. Gabby's ready. Gersh can you see my cup? I can. Oh, it's right here. Can we push? If yeah, had, the, the, the pink pants. Yeah. We good? Yeah. Okay. We All good? right. Here we go. Three, two, one, push. Gabby's cut moved, Ryan's cut moved, Jared's cut moved, and Benji's cut moved. We are moving on to connect for Gerslauer. Ryan, go ahead and join the breakout room. Yay, good job, okay, guys. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Sharp crochet comb gardens probe, Louis Island flags, point leaf, flat guide, half oasis, alien dig. Oh my gosh. Once Bryant comes back, Josh can go. Probe, comb, guide and dig one away okay okay bryant's still not back yet joe has set up knocked over and then having to set up again his dominoes so the connections puzzle is not easy comb probe guide Dig. What away? Okay. Cone, probe, guided, and dig have one. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, ready? Three, Three two, one, go. Oh, all right. It does look like everybody's cup was hit. Okay. Okay. Um, go, team. You got go, it. You got it. You guys got this. You guys got this. Uh, let's do Oasis, Gardens, Island. Island, Gardens, Oasis. Uh, and Guide. Guide. Submit. Home, Leaf, Dig, and Probe. You're good. Oh, All right. Back. Bye. Brian is back. Oh, got rooms. Yep. Bye. Gosh. You oh. are free to join the breakout room. Um, can you do Island, Oasis? Um, gardens. Maybe point. We get unlimited guesses for this one? Yes. Okay. One away. Comb, probe, dig, and guide. Gardens point, island flags. You're good. Cool. 
<laughs> Josh is back. Tawny is free to go in. Flat, Oasis, Sharp, Half. One away. Flat, Oasis, Sharp, Guide. Comb, Leaf, Probe, Dig. Yes. Head back to the main room. All right, Sam is back. Cade, you can go to the breakout. Yes. Let's go, Cade. Okay. Sharp, flat, half, and point. Okay. Let's try crochet, alien, half, sharp. I feel like that's. One away. Uh, 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 okay. Do the top line. Just go across the top line. I so, to sharp, words. crochet, Lewis, flat. One away. Sharp, flat, half, crochet. Head back to the main room. <laughs> no, it's playing. Eight, 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 eight is back. Jordan can go. Let's go. Good luck, Jordan. Let's go. Island flags, gardens, and Lewis. Okay, so I'm still one away. One away. Oh wait. Okay. Um, sharp crochet. Oasis half. One away. Ah. Island slags gardens point. I have no idea what the. Head back to is. the main room, Jordan. Okay. Jordan is Ooh. back. Ben is moving. Ben, up. Ben. Go Ben. Go Ben. Let's go Ben. <laughs> Second, okay, words meaning, see what, what, it, what is his, how does Ian's brain work? Oh, uh, alien, Louise, Oasis, guys. Head back to the main room. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and Sam. Oh, 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 oh. back. Vacoma wins immunity, safe from the Let's first go. council. Let's and go. Go. Said, that was an impressive comeback. Congrats to uh, Vacoma on winning tribal mm. immunity. One person from Gersauer will be the first person voted out of the game on Sunday night. And we know it's a long weekend, but please use this time to get to know your tribe mates as the game will pick up quickly. My initial thoughts on our starting tribe is that we all have pretty good vibes. There's not like anyone that's like, egregiously off-putting so far you know which on the first vote you're always kind of looking for something you can dogpile on obviously we won the first challenge which was great because we don't have to worry about that immediately um and i was uh the last person to go on the puzzle so there was like there was only one answer left so i, I didn't even have to do anything um <laughs> so and i don't think everyone knows that there was nothing left because some people have like messaged me and been like good job on the puzzle and i'm like hey you know keep me around for those clutch ca challenge performances, you know? <laughs> yeah. I also, did you notice um the little scroll in your package? The scroll? Yeah. There's a scroll in it. What is it? One of the notes? No, no, no. Like, like dump your whole package. There's a tiny little scroll in there. Oh, what? <laughs> I did not. This? Yeah. Did you open it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it probably has to do with some kind of advantage or idol. Okay, hold up. It's it's there's nothing concrete on there. It's like a coded message of like something with order of operations. I don't know. There's probably gonna be some like math that we have to like solve at some point somewhere. Oh, interesting. In order to operate in this game, you will need to function with purpose. Regardless of the numbers remaining in the game, you must match the pace to follow the signs. Well, did you notice, maybe this has something to do with it, on the message they sent our group chat, the um, one of the letters is red? No, I did not notice that. That's T. I read it early in the morning and I was just like... <laughs> yeah, the O is red. So maybe it's a zero. Yeah, maybe it's a map. zero. And like, you're my number one. So I'm telling you everything. Okay. <laughs> no, same. Are you same ready? Dude. 
I'm meeting I, with I have two other calls today. Okay. For one. One for sure, maybe two. You're mm-hmm. the first because you're the number one, the homie. We're locking it down. But I'm ta- I'm meeting with Joe at two. Okay. Um, so I'm hoping to kind of basically get confirm good vibes with him, put good vibes on you from him, but not too obnoxiously so that you know, they think that we're like super yeah. tight, but be like, yeah, I feel good about the other bin, you know, also feel good yeah. about this person, whatever. Um, yeah. And then I've been talking with Cade, who's on vacation. But if we do call, I'm going to try to do the same thing with him. So that would at least give us like four. And then we can kind of figure it out from there about what direction we want to go. Um, yeah. Because you feel good about both those people too. So um, yeah, I can help lock those they down. Like- and then- if you want to meet with them too, you know, we can, you can lock that stuff down separately as well, whatever. Ben Hathaway already wants to form an alliance with me, which is appreciated. Yes, I'll never turn down an alliance, but it's a little sketch. He said this is his first org, which means either one of two things. He either really wants to work with me or he really wants to work with everybody. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like where my head space is at with him. I'm going to keep him at like an arm's distance. He's my number one ally as of right now because I'm not really working with anybody else because we don't have to go to tribal. But how many other people consider him their number one ally? The Ben Ben alliance? We just got to hope the other Ben survives until the merge. Oh my God. Can you imagine if we did? Can you imagine if we did? The final three. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and the that final vote so like Ben and we all are like the Spider-Man meme like <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny wow I would we should that. just do it for the for the yeah. jokes we should try to get that to happen just for the bit <laughs> just for the bit literally yeah <laughs> basically I was just kind of like reading everyone's faces in the marooning zoom seeing who just off initial vibes did I like who was talking too much um, and right off the bat I love Jordan's vibe. She seemed like super calming and sweet. And like, that's the kind of personality I need in this game because I know that I can be a little chaotic. Um, So having an ally that's like calming and good vibes. um, And she seemed like really rational. So I liked Jordan a lot. Um, Then we got to messaging and the messaging has been really good. Our chats have been really good in in messaging. So hopefully... Jordan can be a good ally, I don't know. But I also really liked Ben off of his initial vibes. Um, Other Ben, not me Ben obviously, but I do love my vibes. But um, he's kind of playing like really hard and fast. And I really hope he's being honest and genuine when he says that it's just to me. Immediately he's messaging me that he like liked my vibe, like wants to have a strat chat. We just had a strat chat earlier today and it went really well. He basically told me that he really liked um, Cade and Joe. So it seems like those two were like his one and two. Maybe I'm one. I don't know. He says I'm number one. I want to believe that. But when someone like out of the gate immediately starts talking strat with you, like you have to wonder, like maybe that's not the case. <laughs> I mean, one thing that is definitely going to be a challenge coming up uh, is going to be the fact that I'm legally blind, um, I've already kind of brought that up with a couple of my tribe mates, um, and they seem pretty receptive to that. It was definitely a worry of mine in the first challenge with figuring out the spacing of the dominoes. Um, I'm definitely glad that we won because I, the fact that I kind of held us up at the end had me a little nervous, but now that that challenge is done and over with, I'm hoping it's not something that they'll reflect back on later, and especially when there were other tribe members who had equal amount of difficulty like there's a couple people i feel good about as well that we didn't mention like i feel good about Cade. i don't know if you've talked to Cade. not really yet i got like my first message this morning haven't really gotten too much yeah um and Uh, i also feel good about the other ben i've had some good conversations okay yep other ben i've definitely had some good conversation with so i feel like you know so with like a jordan and you know a Tommy or something, you know, we yes. can, there's maybe a world yep. there, you know? I definitely have a good number of people that I want to work with on my tribe. I like said, I'm thinking we have a good group of people from Pennsylvania area between Jordan and Tommy. And then uh, Ben Hathaway happens to be an Eagles fan. 
So I think we're kind of trying to start a little bit of like a PA alliance going on. But um, to answer an earlier question, you said, how do I feel about Jordan? I like Jordan. Yeah. My initial vibes okay. on Jordan are good. I just yeah. haven't talked to a lot of people like in depth. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know Tommy's, I know Tommy's definitely kind of looking to like, you know, work, work on like a PA thing. A PA thing? Jordan and I kind of, yeah, like we, we did like a PA thing. Oh, oh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I got you. Yep. But then, and then, like, Jordan and I just started talking to you a little bit this morning. Okay. Didn't really get to talk to you last night. Like, I had a bunch of people messaging last night. Yeah. So, but because I kind of know, that, like, some of, like, that East Coast PA alliance was kind of talked about. Now I'm trying to be like, hey, Jordan, what would you think of this? Yeah. So we'll I, I can definitely I really like her vibes. Um and I also thought Tommy yeah. was super wholesome and like I laughed a lot at like things he was yeah. saying and stuff like you know I I, I fuck with like just like yeah. vibes and energy a lot, which is also and I'm just being transparent. I was yep. kind of surprised we vibed so well when we started talking because you were a quieter on our initial call. And then I felt like me and you connected yeah. really well. I mean, and... definitely how I and that I think was my, my a lot of my struggle in my first game was I do very well in the one on ones. Yeah. But like get me in like the group setting, it's definitely a little tougher. Yeah, no, but I, I mean it's a pleasant more... surprise. I'm like, dude, hell yeah. I think we had yeah. the best conversation I had in private. So I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah, it, it's it's the group mentality. I definitely let the like louder voices speak. And he created a group chat with myself, Tommy, Joe, and Jordan, the kind of Pennsylvania the Philly people, which is funny because the reason he put me in that group chat is because I have this Philadelphia Eagles blanket. But I, I don't like the Eagles at all. And I waved it in front of the camera when we were talking with our tribe. Uh, but that got shipped to my house by accident. Like it was someone else's package. Um, and my cat likes it, you know? So I just, I let him lay on it. <laughs> so I don't care about the Eagles at all. But um, I'm in this Philly group chat now. Who else? I really liked Cade. Cade seems like somebody I'm really going to be able to work with. Um, and possibly connect with he seems very like he was also like I can do connections blah 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 and like I know that's such a little thing but I do connections every day because I like to activate my brain at the top of the day and I feel like anybody who does that and likes to give themselves a daily challenge like that is somebody that would be more strategic minded and would be somebody I would want to work with in the game so Cade fits that bill, also seems very charismatic, very kind, so I'll have to have more conversations with him, obviously, but I'm liking his vibes right away. Same with Katz. Um, he is the only one I've made a chat with so far. Um, I'm going to make them with everybody eventually, but I'm not trying to, like, uh, you know, go crazy and have everybody be like, oh, she's talking to everybody right away, especially when we're not going to tribal, so... Um, the challenge was pretty fun. Um, I think everybody, I mean, like, we definitely had a big lead. Um, I think Tawny kind of blew it. Um, I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, they sucked in the challenge. They deserve to go home. You know, like, this is a strategic game, not a physical game, in my opinion. So I really believe that, like, I want I want Tawny to say, like, Tawny, I talked on the phone with her for, like, an hour last night. So, like, I really like her. I'm fine with her name being out there. And honestly, like, it's the first tribal if... If it's going to be her, I'm not putting my neck out to save her. I'm not going to be first boot trying to save her. But, like, if at all possible, I would like to keep Tawny. But, yeah, challenge was great other than that. But, yeah, she definitely blew it a little. But I really did not want to do the domino situation at all because I was very nervous, very shaky. Um, and so were, it seemed like most people with people's dominoes and stuff falling down, which is understandable. I I just don't understand how the other tribe got all four within the time that I was in there trying to get one and I only I only had eight words to choose from it's slightly embarrassing it is very embarrassing it sucks that we lost I didn't want to go to tribal first I really want to build better bonds and connections I just wonder if we're gonna vote for the people who struggled the most, which would have been Gabby, 
because she took a long time on stacking the uh, blocks. But at the same time, I don't want to just throw someone to the wolves because they had to do something because other people didn't have blocks ready or a cup. I was definitely very nervous yesterday, like, you know, during the marooning. Um, but my tribe seems very nice. Uh, I like talking to them so far. Um, yeah, yesterday was just kind of crazy with the whole, uh, I was not ready for a challenge. My desk was not clean. Um, but I did okay, given the circumstances. I'm assuming that these check-ins tonight may not be just check-ins. Mm, interesting. What, 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 what do you mean? Like, I don't know if they were going to do a twist or something being like, oh, oh these like little 10 minute, 10 minute things. And we'll just <laughs> oh, talk to you about the rules that you should all already know about. Yeah. 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 <laughs> interesting. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if something's going to happen, but like, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Bryant and Sam, and welcome to this season's twist. Much like an amusement park, you will need a riding buddy here at Corkscrew Cove. Although you are on separate tribes, you will be able to talk to each other throughout the pre-merge. No one else will know who your partner is, but you are free to share that information if you please. Tonight, you will be competing together, learning about one another, and possibly earn an opportunity to affect the game. Before we begin, we will be testing your knowledge on a number of different subjects. You have two minutes to share as much information as you can, and your time starts now. Yeah, what do you do? I work in finance. Um, nice. Yeah, I work in credit and debt. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm getting my doctorate in audiology, so I'm like, I have one more year, or I guess... You know, after this May, I start my residency, so pretty much done with all the school part of it. So I'm good at math. That's pretty. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm also good at math, and I suck at spelling. I'm dyslexic. Okay, I'm pretty good at spelling. So, is if we're uh, if we're doing school subjects, I'm bad at science. So, I I'm pretty good at science. So I got that. What about Wait, okay, I, I feel uh, low key. I feel like this is kind of pointless because we don't know what we're gonna do. But what's going on on your tribe? Like, do you are y'all like strategizing already? Uh, more or less getting to know each other. Okay, so I would no, say um, we're just like talk yet. I think the main talk's gonna happen like tomorrow. But uh, I think everyone was giving like one day, like getting to know each other. And then, uh, like tomorrow, we're gonna talk about like what, who we uh think we want to work together with, and like who we might want to vote out. Okay. Well, uh, I want immunity. So, what's going on on your on your side? Literally, our tribe, like everyone's just kind of getting to know each other. And this isn't even me like keeping my cards close. There's yeah. been no strategy talk, or not even that I know of. I think because our our tribe was not until Sunday, so yeah. I think everyone's just like, "Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Like, who are you vibing with?" But like, there's literally not even been a name thrown out. Um, That's crazy. I mean, yeah. So I mean, Tawny, she really like struggled in the challenge. So like, I yeah. could see her. She's like definitely the reason you guys came back. So I could see her name getting thrown out. I mean, I I like her so far. So I don't know. Um, not much strat strategizing going on though. Hi, my favorite animal is a dog. I'll say cat. Okay. I don't think they have this information. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like... um, <laughs> unless it's like newlywed game style. Then we can I know. Um, um what's your well, they don't know our favorite survivor season. I was just thinking that. Mine's <laughs> Cambodia. I'm literally watching it right now. Mine would be China. Incredible. Which which player did you say it has to be information they got from us, right? So what player did you say you played most like when you're in I want I want to say Gabby. Okay. I said Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Who's your favorite prod member? Well, I'm new to this, so yeah. Uh <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go Lily. Okay. I'll go Ian. 
I, coffee? Are you a coffee person? I prefer. I love Dunkin coffee. Over. Okay, Dunk, I, I prefer Dunkin' over Starbucks. Dunk, Dunkin', yep. I like cold, cold, cold brew over hot okay. coffee. I, I would um, agree. I like iced coffee. I was a cold brew fan until I got too expensive. So, if you went to trivia, what would you say is your specialty? Ooh, um, probably animation because I went to school for animation. Ooh, that's um, very cool. Yeah. Okay. So are you like seconds. into like oh, film boy. and stuff like that too, or? Um, I like movies, but I'm not like okay. a super big film TV buff. What about you? I I love uh, reality TV and reality okay. TV competition shows, so I'm good at pop culture and yeah. science. Weirdly enough, it's a weird combination. Okay. But, okay. So we might be able to scrape by, depending I hope on what. So. This is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> great I was, was like, good at great math. I we got I got something related to math in my Time. um my package. Time. Okay. Ooh. For this challenge, one castaway acts as a bidder while the other castaway will be providing answers. The bidder will choose a topic and then bid on how many answers their partner can provide for that given topic. The castaway will have 45 seconds to name as many answers they know for that topic. If the castaway answers below the amount bid, the round is considered a fail. Incorrect answers are not penalized. The roles switch each round. The bidder will become the individual that provides answers. There are seven topics available to choose from with a total of five rounds. Categories are female survivor winners, DCP okay. survivor winners, countries that start with a vowel, U.S. presidents before Ronald Reagan, Winnie the Pooh characters, survivor tribe names, countries to win the men's or women's World Cup. The winner of this challenge will be the duo that correctly guesses and completes the most rounds. If there's a tiebreaker needed, first, it will be decided by the total guesses bid and completed for the overall challenge. If a second tiebreaker is needed, it will be decided by the total amount of guesses given in the game, thus including the answers provided above the amount bid. Uh, let's do Winnie the Pooh characters. And I think Gabby could do five. All right. Um, Three, two, one, go. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet. Um, God, what's, is this name just Rabbit? Oh, Christopher Ro Robin. Um, Christopher Robin, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger. Um, Kanga, Roo. Um, what is it? Half a the half a lump, the hump a lumps. Does that count? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> um, does the woozle count? Oh my god, I saw this on TikTok forever ago to remind myself. Um, there's Rue, I think Rue's a character, and then Rue's mom, Miss Rue. Um, all right, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin, Tigger, Piglet. This was a bad one to give me. I'm so sorry. Tigger, Piglet, Winnie. Um, oh my god, I've never seen the show. <laughs> Tigger, Piglet, Winnie. I don't know the kangaroos. I I know it's either Joe or Joey. Uh, Joey. I'm gonna go with Joey. Uh. So, yeah, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, Joey. Uh, oh, my God. I should know the owl and the rabbit's name. Time. I think it was Joey. I don't know if I was allowed to say anything. I think it was Joey. I'll say the U.S. presidents before Ronald Reagan. And I'll say, I'll give him 10. Oh, okay. All right, Tommy. Three, two, one, go. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren. George Washington. Um, no, he was before. Andrew Jackson. Uh, Grant. Lincoln, 
um, Polk, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant, uh, John John Adams, John Quincy Ad Adams, William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, um, James Polk, John Ty Taylor or Zachary Taylor, Franklin Pierce, Miller Miller Fillmore, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes. I don't know. Andrew Garfield. Who's the guy in the tub? <laughs> Wait, um, was Roosevelt? Roosevelt's before, so that's five. Or is that four? Um, Roosevelt. Um, Kennedy. I don't know if this was before or after, but Bush. This was not a good category for me. I'm not going to lie. I don't know my history. Andrew Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, Rutherford Hayes, uh, James Garfield, Chester Arthur, Benjamin Harrison, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, William McKinley, Harry Truman, Woodrow Wilson. Uh, I'm missing one. Benjamin Harrison. Time. Okay. We'll be female survivor winners. Um, and I'll say she can name six. Okay, so there's Natalie White, then there's the other Natalie, I don't know, the twin, um, Sandra, Sandra if she counts for two. D, Marianne, Erica. The Sepia, Denise, Kim, Marianne, Erica, Parvati, Sandra, Sandra again if that counts. Tina. Weston, I think is her name. Um, Tina Weston, Sandra, Diaz Twine, Parvati Shallow, um, Kim Spradlin, um, oh, Denise, I don't remember her last name. I don't know if you need last names. Um, Denise. Jenna, Danny, Amber. Um, Michelle Fitzgerald, um, D. Marianne, um, Jenna. Michelle? Um, poverty number one. Tina Wilson, uh, Vesepia, uh, Kim. Tina. Um, who else do we have? Uh, Natalie, Michelle, um, Amber. Uh, Amber. Danny, Ray, uh, yeah, Danny, um, Jenna. Um, who else was there? Oh, Sarah. Um, stop. Okay. DCP winners two for two. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> all right josh three two one go um the gambling one i can't remember the name of it now i think his name was like michael or philip or something like that i don't know a single one so i'm just gonna name prod members um <laughs> Alex Trius, <laughs> Louis Fetzel, Kyle Durrett, Austin Garsau, uh, Ian Moorhead. <laughs> That's what I've got. Oh, McKenna Feeney. The other McKenna. <laughs> I'm just going to hope that somebody won and then joined fraud. It's going to be awkward. I didn't, like, I didn't more know second. Yeah. Time. <laughs> Time. Yeah. Survivor tribe names. Okay. And how many do I think you can get? We'll go with five. Tika, uh, Reba, Lulu. No, the one the green one the green is a G. I think it's a G just Gashon. Gashon. 
Um, what's the purple one this season? Heroes, villains, David, Goliath, Ua, Yanu. Um, Merica. That was a merged tribe in Worlds Apart. Um, Reba. There's Foa Foa. Pagong. Oga Kor. Uh, uh, Upolu, Karor, uh, Oolong, Matsing, Tadhana, time. Countries to win the World Cup, and I will bet four. And uh, Brian, this is both men's and women's World Cup. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Well, Brazil, Germany, uh, Italy, Argentina, U.S., obviously. Uh, United, United States, uh, Ger Ger Germany. Uh, Brazil, Argentina, Tina, Spain, France, France, uh, Great Britain, uh, the U.S., uh, Brazil, uh, Argentina, Portugal, um, Sweden. Denmark, Norway. Time. Countries that start with a vowel? And how many? Um, and I'll pick five as well. Okay. All right, Tawny. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Australia, Albania, Algeria, um, Iceland, um Ireland. Um okay, so we're there. Um Afghanistan, Egypt, Australia. Okay. United States of America, United Emirates. That's an airline. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um mm, mm. I'm blanking on everything in my life right now. A Asia, that's a continent. Albania, Ethiopia. Um, I almost said Brazil, um, Australia, um, uh, uh, what's in Europe? All right, Egypt, Uganda, Afghanistan, Iran, Ukraine. Um, does America count? Um, no, United States of America, I guess. Right. Um, uh, Uruguay, America, Austria, Australia. Albania, Uruguay, Afghanistan, Ibiza, is that a country? Time. The partner twist definitely threw me for a loop. I knew, I had a sinking suspicion that this wasn't going to be a normal check-in. I've done my homework. I know the tricks that DCP likes to play. And so I knew something was going to happen. Um, I wasn't, uh, I never would have guessed that it was going to be this where a ride or die twist about having insight and knowledge uh, and connections with somebody else. Um, I think it's been really fascinating to, to play about how much information do you give? Do you want to cultivate that relationship and the hope that you end up with that person on um, a merge or a swap tribe with? And so you already have that. But also, um, are you just going to be giving information and they're just going to spill it um, instantly, too? So it's going to be very interesting to see how all of this um, plays out. I'm not quite sure if we won this challenge or not. I probably bet maybe a little too low. 
in mine. Um, not gonna lie, I was hoping he would have picked DCP winners because again, all the homework I've done would have paid off in that. So I'm very, I'm, I'm interested. I'm very excited to be able to have uh, uh, someone else, but also knowing that some, everyone else is gonna have somebody else. It'll be interesting to see um, at what point does my tribe come clean or are we all keeping it um, a secret? Our group chat right now has been pretty quiet. So no one has spilled the beans. So we'll see how it all kind of plays out, but it definitely adds a different layer to the strategy of how do you work with someone on another tribe? Um, do you just wanna get all the information or do you wanna cultivate the relationship with someone in the hopes that um, if you end up on a swap tribe with them, you've already put in some of that um, work with someone. So I'm excited to see how it all plays out. No, I agree. I think we could do like a group of like you, me, Aaron, like Sam, Kate, and then like see about Ben each maybe too. But like, yeah, yeah I guess that's six. That's a lot of people. But still, like, yeah, getting I mean, a solid group, I think, too, in there. Like you, me, Aaron, and maybe like Sam or gain one of the two yeah yeah like a group of four at least yeah it gives us like a buffer of like two tribals three tribals and i think by then we would swap or have merge or something so Mm -hmm. yeah but i definitely out of that grouping feel the best with you for sure and then it's between like aaron and sam i love them both so i called with cats and i gonna call with Jordan tomorrow and I'm also trying to call with Cade soon Mm -hmm. yeah other than you those are probably the people I talk to the most I would agree I'm getting like good vibes from like all the people you just listed I just got a call I called with Jordan earlier today I think Cats and I were talking about doing something after um the call tonight nice then you and then like I had I had good conversations with like Cade today just about like survivor and the trader so i just sent him a message and i was like hey if you want to talk like tonight or tomorrow before the challenge but i'm feeling really good um with the with that group nice okay cool yeah same here i really like that and i feel like i've heard similar sentiments from like the other people when i've yeah so that's really good and the only other name that like yeah i haven't super connected with that i feel like other Mm -hmm. and like i don't know it's hard i love kate too but yeah i don't know so I know yeah. I'm supposed to talk with Sam later and yeah other like someone's losing their partner tonight so what Hopefully does that hurt, hurt you who yeah are, like who in our tribe's about to lose their partner and what happens with them exactly and so because like I, I was talking to Ben H a little bit about it we were just saying it almost feels like it's more of a disadvantage than it is like an advantage that like just having a partner in the game isn't doing anything for you right now but like come merge or a swap if you're somebody who did lose a partner it's almost like you've lost a person that's kind of set in stone for you like of course you don't want to see your partner go if you're getting to compete for these advantages and if you're doing that like every week or so then do you just not get to compete for them if like you've lost your partner so it is it's a weird like thing to see how it's going to shape up I know, no one seems to be like hiding who their partner is everyone's like yeah I mean everyone knows you have one so I'm like oh yeah mine's Gabby like if she's yeah. gone I guess it might be making me more vulnerable than I said it because now everyone's like oh Jordan lost her partner but I just don't know how it's going to shake up yeah my partner is Bryant um mm-hmm. but what's so funny is that no one's really revealing but according like my partner they're sharing everything it, you know, really it, well, I guess it, it makes sense, like, in the context of a going to tribal, but I think, like, afterwards, they, you know, they're fully aware of who's paired up um, with who, and then over here, no one's really acknowledging it, and so it's, it's oh. interesting to see. I don't know. My partner, like, I keep trying to figure out what's happening at tribal, but, like, they do not want to, like, really tell me fully, and I'm like, <laughs> please? Like, no. No. I know I have been like thinking about it I'm like I don't necessarily see like I don't know the advantage of it quite yet like maybe closer but I'm just like yeah she could get voted out like tomorrow <laughs> yeah <laughs> or tonight I guess it is for them yeah I don't know but yeah she's been like her I have Gabby I don't even know anyone on the other team really but she 
and I don't know if I'm supposed to be like saying it to everyone, but I, <laughs> so, I yeah, she she just hasn't been answering me much. I'm like, I get it. They also are probably scrambling a lot more than we are, and I don't know what to say to her to be like, oh, that stinks. We're yeah. just hanging out. <laughs> like, yeah, so, I um, but... Josh. Yeah, Josh. These J names are really tripping me up, but um, yeah, he hasn't really been answering me much either. <laughs> I was like. I was like, honestly, I don't know. It's not like this is like blood versus water where I have some like kind of relationship to him. Like if yeah. we build a relationship, I guess we build a relationship. But if we don't like whatever, like whatever the advantage yeah. was, we did not win. This morning, we get a me- a fun little message um, that Bryant and I won the challenge last night, uh, which was a nice little message to wake up to. And so we now both have an idol um to use during but there's a twist to it uh during the pre-merge phase we can't use the idol on ourselves um but if we get to the merge um it then becomes an idol and we can use it on ourselves and we can use it until the final six so that's a pretty powerful advantage to have i called with cats and i gonna call with Jordan tomorrow and I'm also trying to call with Cade soon Mm -hmm. yeah other than you those are probably the people I talk to the most I would agree I'm getting like good vibes from like all the people you just listed I just got a call I called with Jordan earlier today I think Cats and I were talking about doing something after um the call tonight nice and then you and then like I had I had good conversations with like Cade today just about like survivor and the trader so i just sent him a message and i was like hey if you want to talk like tonight or tomorrow before the challenge but i'm feeling really good um with the with that group nice okay cool yeah same here i really like that and i feel like i've heard similar sentiments from like the other people when i've yeah so it's weird because like on marooning night tommy was like such like a bright light in that marooning and I thought he was like Mm -hmm. gonna be so fun to like talk to and work with but just like on dms I don't know why like I just feel like I'm getting nothing like it's yeah stale and it's super confusing so that's fully agree my thing with Tommy I knew right off the bat when we joined that call the original marooning call I was like I hope Jordan's on my tribe she looks like someone I will I would be friends with in real life. So I was really glad when she was on my tribe. Um the rest of my tribe seems awesome. <laughs> I love both of the bends. They're really cool separately and together. Um me and Kate are the young ones, so we have to stick together as much as we can at this point. You know, I definitely am not gonna let other people know, especially right now. There's no need to. To let people know my tribe, we're not going to tribal council, at least for right now. It would just put a target on my back uh, because I can't use it on myself. So it's like the idol only gets more powerful the longer I stay in the game. So that could just be like, I don't know, tribal council. Oh, let's get rid of Sam, flush the idol, all that. And I don't want that to happen. So I feel like obviously the goal is to make it to merge for it to become like a I don't like news on myself. One last thing before we go, though. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Jared and I did win the challenge. Wait, you won? The, you and Jared? I think so. We got a reward. Uh, it's a fast pass is what it's called. This advantage can only be used after the merge. When both partners agree to play this advantage, it removes time between the scramble period, end of challenge, beginning of tribal. So we can pretty much force an instant tribal after merge. And if one of us is voted out, then the uh, player remaining will have the sole power to choose when the advantage is played. So even if he's gone, I can still use it. Yes, that's amazing. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I was, oh, I really wanted to win that like challenge. So I'm so happy that you won it. <laughs> you told me that. Oh, yes. that's- Um, my thoughts on the partner twist, I was definitely very surprised. I was ready to just go in and check in for like, you know, like 15 minutes and go about my day. But um, it was fun. Yeah, it was surprising. 
I'm happy there were Winnie the Pooh characters because um, my childhood bedroom was Winnie the Pooh themed and I have a lot of knowledge of Winnie the Pooh, which definitely came in handy. Um, Jordan seems really nice. I'm excited to talk to her. Aaron and I won the Fast Pass Advantage, which essentially we believe what it does is once we hit merge, we can use it to pretty much go right into tribal after the immunity challenge to eliminate the scramble. So if we have like a plan in place, we can just, or if we're at the bottom, we can just eliminate every, all doubt of like what's going to happen and go straight to tribal and execute the plan. So Aaron and I are um, excited to have the advantage. I'm really shocked to have won the advantage. I didn't think that we would be either top one, top two team. I don't know how many people got an advantage. But I know that there is at least two out there. And in my partner chat with Joe, there's an advantage, which means that we at least didn't do the worst in the challenge. We are we've we did somewhere high enough to get us an advantage. Together, Joe and I have an advantage called the Park Hopper, which lets us join a vote. If one of us is safe and the other person's not safe, the other person can join tribal and cast a vote, which could be really useful. And if we manage to keep it until the merge and not use it, it turns into an extra vote. And if both of us are there, we both get extra votes. In our little partner chat, we found a nice advantage. Um, and it says, congratulations, you and your partner have each earned a ticket to ride. You must play this before the votes are read, but after they are cast. You may use this ticket as an idol but can only play it for someone else before the merge. After the merge, this advantage becomes a regular immunity idol. The last time to use this idol is at the final six tribal. So that's amazing. I wish it was on me, but I'd rather, you know, have something than no nothing. And I feel like I probably would have freaked out, just played an idol at the first tri tribal count, count council. The twists are twisting. It's especially because of the the season theme. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Who'd you get? So, and I I don't know if he's comfortable with me with me sharing info. So let's like keep things keep things here. I got Joe. I don't know who Joe is. Okay. Oh wait, yes I do. Kind of. He had like he had like like the beard. I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay, I got Aaron. My queen. Okay, I thought you two had a thing. So, um, we like know each other. We have not played together, but I have okay. hosted her in a, in a game that I've played. Um, okay. Tell her that we're good. Okay. As soon as I it's, saw it was her, I was like, yes, thank God. Like, she and I have not played together, but I looked at her like she was the only person that I really like have seen. Mm -hmm on this cast i feel comfortable with her if she knows that you're with me that may build some trust and this may be like something that can help us going forward i i okay. feel comfortable kind of kind of using that Ooh. so um how do we feel like all of the all of the twisties went yesterday um okay like i don't think we did great but i think we did it possibly a chance to to win but i haven't heard anything yet so it makes me feel like <laughs> it didn't go well <laughs> so uh i also thought we didn't do super great but there was a little something in our in our partner chat this morning uh it's like it's like a joint advantage it's a joint a vote Ooh. so if we so if we play it, the winning partner can join the losing partner's tribal. They're still safe. Like, they're not up for elimination or anything. I need to check. I I assume not. That would kind of... Suck. One, it would be hilarious. Yeah. Two, it would suck. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... Oh, my gosh. All right, let's turn, 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 turn it around on the other tribe. And get it. Just say, <laughs> welcome and goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> you hate your partner, Sorry. so you're like, I'm just going to get rid of them. Just be like, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
So yeah. I don't okay. know if there's, a, I, didn't think, I didn't think we did super well. So I don't know if there's a bunch, but honestly yeah. it's whatever. Um, I don't well, really know if it'll be usable. I also found something in that chat. Oh my God, I feel so loved out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh, so like- Mine isn't in, in effect until merge. Oh. Okay. So it essentially just fast tracks that round from the time of the end of the challenge to tribal. So there's oh. less scramble time. Oh. oh, fun. That's interesting. But so it like a, it makes it, it like a be agreed thing. upon to use by me and my partner. Okay. Unless one of us, unless there's only one of us still in the game, then I can just one of us can just use it, obviously, because we don't have to consult the other person. Okay. Okay. I see. I think uh Tony and Jared and I have a really good three. I think we brought in Bryant and we're gonna try and make like a four chat in there and we're figuring out somebody else who we can bring in. Based on the way that the duos are at, we know that Josh and Katz on the other tribe are pairs and Aaron, who is Jared's duo and somebody who I have a slight pre-existing connection with and kind of want to be able to use that as an option. Uh, Aaron and Katz are working together. So we figure if we bring in Josh to kind of keep all of the partners set up well, that may be something that allows us to get a bigger group or maybe protection when it comes to a swap. I honestly don't think that the others are going to throw out a name. I don't think they will. And I don't mind being the person to throw out a name. Um, and this is like, why I'm glad I'm aligned with you. It's not like I'm, well, I'm, I'll probably do it after the game night. Um, get a feel for like the other people that show up and stuff like that. Yeah. And then I have no problem being like this person. Game night alliance. <laughs> Because they're gonna hear a name and they're just gonna they're just gonna roll with it because they're not gonna want to throw out another name. Um, I know, yeah, Brian and I are pretty tight, and then you and I, I feel like get along well. Yeah, so that could be a three right there, and then, um, we could bring in Tawny. Um, I know Brian mentioned she's a little bit of a wild card. At least, like, I think she was just feeling bad after the challenge, so I don't think that's really like a true. Yeah. I mean, she seems she seems nice. She's had good conversations. I think that she's been pretty good about like wanting to reach out to everybody. So I wouldn't be I wouldn't be super mad at it. Yeah. Okay. Um. And I guess we really just need one more. I mean. Yeah. Pretty... Uh. Let me see. So there's Jared, who I've talked to a little bit. Seems fine. Right. Yeah. Um. I mean, Colby would probably just vote somewhere if you gave him a name yeah that's true so i don't know if you want to like i don't know i i just i feel like at this point it's probably just going to be colby like i don't but i, I know it, we kind of just kind of ripped the band-aid off i guess a little bit um today but um i think that's kind of the name that i've heard floated around the most okay sucks but um yeah. i guess we'll reconvene later and see where where it's at um so i feel like us us four and ryan probably makes sense and then colby essentially wants to vote with ryan okay which makes so, sense why they would just throw out josh or gabby and then I'm we so probably for the call. josh to vote with us because it won't be him i mean i've only been hearing really gabby is like the main and then I've also heard you a little, but it's more Gabby. Okay. So I think Gabby's the way to go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna come here in here and be like, yeah, we're targeting you. No, but it's actually oh. Gabby. Is the Okay. Yeah, I I've, I've heard Gabby a lot too, and then Colby too. I just just because he just hasn't been around, but um yeah, so all right. Well, those are two people we can, I guess we can reconvene, I guess, a little closer to tribal, see where we're at too. So, yeah, I think the, because of 
how everyone is today. It's going to be another like slower, but I think that right now it's definitely on Gabby. Mm hmm Okay. And so I don't think that especially round one, we had to do like a massive scramble. Okay. So is is, Mm -hmm. is the goal Gabby here? Pretty much because Brian essentially said Gabby's name, but then is like not remembering that he said Gabby's name. (laughs) Got it. (laughs) It was a whole thing last night. I think in somewhere I could work with Jared, but there are just so many hints and drops that I just felt like I'm not, I'm not at their top. I feel like I'm not exactly like if, if I am, if that four is the four, I'm at the bottom of the four, but I'm not even sure that's the four. It just seems like him and Tawny have so many things happening the way they like talked about all these alliances earlier on a zoom call that I had heard nothing about. And Benji had heard nothing about. It seems actually unanimous because it's not like Gabby's even been around to rebuttal at least from what I've seen because even last night um on the you know the tribe zoom call that I made she still didn't seem like interested in throwing out a name or like anything and so it's just kind of like I get it it's the first tribal. It's scary. Like you don't want to be the person to like throw out a name necessarily. But at that point it was 24 hours before tribal. So it's like a name's got to be said. And I don't think you want it to be you. So like, cause that's how like I'm saying it. Like, I don't want it to be my name. So throwing out other names, like. Yeah. I think she easily could have thrown out my name since we haven't really talked. I mean, and when I say haven't really, I mean, we haven't talked at all. So that's my only nervousness is that she could somehow have a, a idol and play it on herself. And if like, someone found an idol, I literally applaud them because I am so confused by like everything that they have given us or lack thereof. Essentially, I reached out to Gabby night one because I could tell she she seemed very nervous during the cha- challenge and kept apologizing uh, because she dropped the dom- dominoes a few times, but almost everyone did um but i really wanted to be the first one to reach out to her um one because she's cool she seems really awesome um and i also wanted to be the first person to you know be that connection um so i think i was the first um and i talked to her and while we were talking we both realized we were new to orgs um so we talked talked about that and then we also found out that josh is also new so us three had a mini three-person alliance as well that we're trying to keep very secret. Um, I don't think I don't think we're going to build it up to five. I think we'll just you know try to protect each other, each other, each other. I also think that's good for me because Josh and um, Gabby apparently like people have been like, oh, I haven't heard much from from them. So I want to keep them close and I'm going to try to protect them um, because I definitely don't want to be on the wrong end of, you know, people targeting the new newbies. I I'm a little, I'm a little suspect of Jared. Yeah. Yeah, I am too. But I think we could probably do that at a later time. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. Okay. And I said I wouldn't say these things. Okay. So I'm trusting you. You're the only person I've told this. (laughs) I won a partner thing. Oh, you did? Okay. I did. I did. Yes. Um, And it's basically an immunity uh, idol. Okay. But I can only use it on someone else pre-merge. Okay. Wow. That's a big one. So theoretically, we just need four. Yeah. I could play it on Gabby and mm-hmm. then Gabby would 100% be committed to, to us. Definitely. Um, okay. So who we could make a big splash here then if you, if you were willing to do that. Um, yeah. And I'm wondering if we just keep this between us for now yeah. and then try to pull. Cause I don't want it to blow back on me. You know what, what I mean? Okay. Like, I don't want it to, if we bring in a fourth and then, um 
you know, it's uh, they're like, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, because then that's he's the trying, target on you, you know, because like, like I, 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 I really trust ben, Benji, mm -hmm. but it's we've all, we're only one vote in, so it's like I don't want to. Well, do you, you want? Know, would you feel like you wanted to keep that for later, or would you want to just do it now and like? Here's my thing. I'm. There are people I'm not nervous about Gabby at all. Yeah, me neither. Like, getting her out doesn't benefit us, and I also am concerned that there's always in the back of my head, what if they're just going for the new p p p p people? You know, mm -hmm. um, it could be k k k chaotic. Yeah, which I'm not I mean, I've already spilled the beans to to you. So, like mm -hmm. at this point, like, <laughs> well, yeah. my plans, my plans to keep everything see you see good are gone. So, unfortunately, I'm going to travel tonight. Um, I kind of like that though, because we get to make some wines, make some alliances, and get it done early as opposed to later. Um, right now, I have a newbie alliance with Gabby and Brian. Um, so I feel good about them. Um, also feel good about Benji and um, Tawny and Ryan. I think I feel pretty good about too. Um, unfortunately for our alliance, I think Gabby is the one that is being targeted by everybody else. Um, but I think there might be some fireworks tonight because um, I really want to keep Gabby in the game. Alrighty. Um, thank you for chatting. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, so I have good news and bad news. Mm -hmm. Bad news is I've heard your name. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I'm not sure if you've, you know, gathered that already. Um, but... Yeah, Jordan, Jordan, my partner mentioned it to me, but um, okay. that was like 10 minutes ago. So uh, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that, that's good that he has your back. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jordan's really nice. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I have Sam. He's he's cool. He's cool. Okay. Um, but speak, speaking of, um, the good news is I uh, did win a partner advantage. Ooh. And it's um, it's pretty much like a an idol, a pre-merge idol that I just can't use on myself. I have yeah. to use it on some, some, someone else. Mm -hmm. And I just feel very not good about the plan, you know, to yeah. get you out. Because one, I like you. To, thank you oh yeah hey. <laughs> um and two uh you know we're all new yeah uh, pl players and i don't want to end up in a posi position where they're like get the newbies out yeah because um, that's i mean it's it's a strategy game but it's like come on you know yeah yeah i think we vote jared um okay. unless you have any like very you know, strong feelings about anyone else. Well, I mean, um, if Jared's voting for me, then fuck Jared. I'm sorry. Love that. Oh, and they were, were also like, um, like when he brought brought up, I think it was me, him, and Ta Ta Tawny, and uh -huh. they they were like, oh yeah, we're gonna be the vi villains, and I'm like, that's fine. Like, don't get me wrong, I would love to be a villain, mm -hmm. but to like say it like that it made me think they were gonna stab me in the back. All right, everyone, welcome to Tribal Council. Although it is never fun to have to go to Tribal Council, it does get the game moving for your tribe. Bryant, how has it been the past couple days? I was really hoping not to get the first question. <laughs> thank, 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 thank you, though. I'm, I mean, it's been, you know, it starts off, you know, it's our first tribal, so we still have to get to know each other. Um, so there was a lot of us chatting and I, you know, I think we all talked to everyone at least once or twice and, you know, I think you could definitely feel people a little unsure throughout the day yet yesterday, today, um, which is, you know, expected of a tribal count council. Um, but I think, I think we're all probably incredibly nervous because none of us know, truly know what's going to happen until after it's over. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely valid to be nervous at your first in any tribal council you go to. I don't know if that goes away. <laughs> um, Jared, the first twist of the game took place on Friday. Has that twist made today's vote easier or harder? I don't think that it's affected the vote. Um, I think for this first vote, uh, we're looking at other factors other than the twist. 
I think that it will come into play later on, but I think right now we're more focused on getting to know our tribe and gel as one before we worry about whatever the twist is for the season. Ryan, this game is hard because y'all also have your normal lives still going on. How has that been working out for you over the past couple days? Uh, it's been a little tough, especially since spring break just started. And I had to go from all the way from upstate New York to Florida for a uh, little time with my family. So trying to balance this game and life could be difficult. I know everyone has life going on. But even like a five minute text to someone, it's still a valuable time that connections can still be made. Yeah. And Josh, how has the first couple days of this game been going for you? It's been a whirlwind, man. Um, I've never done a game like this before. So, you know, just kind of fun figuring out what to do, what the etiquette is, I guess. Um, but I mean, it's been really fun getting to know people and meet new people and see what they're doing, what their walk of life is too. So um, I think overall it's been a really great experience so far. Um, I guess we'll see after tonight how well good I feel about it, but yeah. So. First travel does change things sometimes. <laughs> um, now Benji, the first vote often comes down to something small that a majority can get behind. How has this tribe been navigating it as preparing for this tribal council? You know, I think it's been really interesting because we started off with a challenge before we really had time to talk to each other. And so it's kind of been intermixed with this like get to know you period. And so everybody's been super cagey, which I think is just a function of function of just the situation we're in. So I don't think it's necessarily like the tribe going like gung ho, we need to move forward super well. It's just kind of a mix of building trust as well as progressing through because the other tribe has had days and days to get to know each other and they've built those bonds and we've kind of we're on the back foot because we have to do that at the same time as figuring out a vote gabby tell me about the gershlauer's tribe we heard from benji you know you guys didn't really get to be able to get to know each other before the first challenge but now that you have had a couple days how would you describe this tribe to the rest of the cast I'm not sure if I have any great descriptors. Um, it's uh, like Benji said, it's been hard to get to know everyone and both decide on a vote and live your whole life. Um, so I haven't maybe had as much time to chat as everyone else has because of like personal commitments and because I didn't think quite like this is my first time. I didn't think we were going to get into it as quick as we did. Um, but I'd say it's a great tribe. Um, I'm really happy to be here um, and I'm happy to play with everyone. Uh, Colby, how are you feeling about tonight's vote? I'm feeling pretty decent um, as long as everything that I've heard I should come out of this is true. Everything I've heard is true. I should come out of this okay. And Tawny, what is tonight's vote about for you? For me personally, it's about who I have made the most or I guess in this case, like the least connection with is where my personal vote's going. Um, Cause even though like it has been, it's been a short time, but at the same time, like we've had quite a few days to be able to sit and chit chat. And there's some people that I've definitely been able to talk to way more and some people way less. And I'm more than anyone, cause I'm a workaholic, I understand real life comes first um but there's still you know take five minutes to send someone and i know that communication is a two-way street um but just with what i've dealt with who i've gotten to know more on a personal level compared to who i have it it's just kind of like a scale of who's tipping more which way all right well i guess with that it's time to vote um, my vote is for Tawny, specifically because I think um, it will get blamed on Josh and I want Josh to go with the next tribal. So, and I think she would be the type to target him for it. So yeah. My vote tonight is for Gabby. Um, it's just very unfortunate that we 
us as a tribe didn't get to know you better. I know your personal life kind of came up and just being busy with work and other things. Um, wasn't really wanting to go this direction at first, but just due to everyone's activity level, yours was unfortunately the least. And everyone, every conversation I've had with anyone else, I at least had some game talk. And with you, it still stayed surface level. And with this quick turnaround, we unfortunately just had to go this direction. I'm really sorry, and I really hope you do keep playing these games. So I just have to trust. But he said he was going to use his partner advantage for me, like an immunity idol um, for someone else. So I'm very grateful for that. And for that reason, uh, the three newcomers are voting Jared. Well, I'll go tally the votes. All right, if anybody has an advantage or an idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Ian, Lily, um, I've never been particularly good at math or word pro problems, but sometimes I just get lucky and things work out. So I would love to use my advantage on Gabby. Alrighty, Bryant does have a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Gabby tonight will not count. Anybody else? Okay. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Gabby does not count. Gabby does not count. Gabby does not count. Gabby does not count. Tawny, that's one vote, Tawny. Jared, one vote, Tawny, one vote, Jared, two votes left. Jared. First person voted out of ECP's Corkscrew Cove. Jared. Jared, the tribe has spoken. You know, I should have, like, going into this tribal, like, I was made felt to be safe, but due to anxiety, I was like, oh, it's still gonna be me. So, half expecting a half night. Um, Brian, that's a bold move to make on round one. Uh, that's a, I don't know why you make that decision now. Um, good luck everyone. You're apparently really gonna need it in this game. Well, the first vote is never easy, but you can all take a breath and recenter yourselves for tomorrow. We will see you then for your next immunity challenge. One vote down and now 15 remain. Have a great rest of your night. Well, um, I really didn't see that from Brian. Um, I don't know why he would save Gabby. Um, I feel like this is putting a target on his back so early in the game. Um, playing an idol round one is something that you just don't see unless it's for yourself. Um, I'm, I am blindsided by Brian. He was someone who I thought I had, I had a good connection with in the game and was never going to target until, even consider it until Final Four, like if we made it that far. Him, Tawny, uh, Benji and I, I really thought we had a good group going. I really just want to know why Brian did what he did and I'm just shocked. <laughs>